This is an interactive poem. So, the rules are simple. There are three rules. When I say, are you listening, you say, yes. Are you listening? Yes. When I say, do you understand, you say, no. So, are you listening? Yes. Do you understand? No. Oh, good. When I say, do you understand now, you say, yes, no, or maybe. Okay, now, okay. Are you listening? Yes. Do you understand? No. Do you understand now? Maybe. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Are you listening? Yes. Do you understand? No. Do you understand now? Yes. No. One last, one last time. Are you listening? Yes. Do you understand? No. Do you, do you understand now? Yes. No. Maybe. Okay. Good. I feel like I keep repeating myself. Now listen to you when I understand that sometimes I tend to yell. Sometimes I speak so fast you wonder what the hell I just said. And sometimes I say fancy phrases hard to grasp. So I'm a chill for a bit. Wait, 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 wait. I said I'm a chill. I'm a chill for a bit. And try to explain to you again why stopping my love for you is one of those things easier said than done. Are you listening to me? Yes. You see, I don't just have to stop loving you. I have to kill the future I had planned for us too. The long walks on the beach. The dances, the dances we teach, and of course, this is the this is how I like my chicken cook speech that you really never listen to. Are you listening to me? Yes. You see, I have to eradicate my dream of one day meeting your private parts. Now, 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 now. I don't mean those private parts. I mean the corners and inner chambers of your heart, the sections of your soul. You keep so cleverly locked up in the dark, but to be honest, and I'm trying my best to be honest, I have to suffocate my hope of one day making love to you in such a way that the moon is jealous it may only reflect the light of the sun, and it may only pull on waves that will never, ever, ever, ever come. Oh. Yes. Are you listening to me? Next up on stopping my love for you, I will have to grab my proposal letter and hold it on the water and watch it drown. The same letter that says something about loving you felt like breathing in space. Rare and impossible. Like breathing on the water. The same letter that says something about if roses and violets are templates of love poets, then that makes you God's template for the near perfect woman. Are you listening to me? Yes. yes. Murder really doesn't end there. I also have wedding vows that need to disappear. Wedding vows that did not say something like, till death do us part, but rather express a willingness to commit to cement myself into your heart. Wedding vows that did not say, in good and bad times, but rather a hope that the love we share will radiate in a way that is not just eccentric, exquisite, and electric, but also without limit. I know you've been listening to me, but do you understand? No. Understand? No. Do you understand? No. I'm sorry. That's on me. I just said a bunch of fancy phrases again. You're probably wondering why am I singing? Why is the moon jealous of us? Why on earth would I be breathing in space? Why are roses and violets in the space? Why do I keep racing at the pace and why do I keep switching off topic? Well, you see, that's the point. To stop loving you is not that simple. At its highest extreme, it is pouring acid on children to save the world. And I would save the world for you. Because I truly do love you. And that's the problem. My love for you is different. It's Sorry. It's ethereal. It's bereft of poetry. It's to the point that if I were to stop loving you just like that, in a snap, I'd run the risk of losing the parts of me that grew because of you. Now, I don't want to lose them, too. Are you listening to me? Yes. 
good because you need to listen for this part. You see, eventually, eventually, I will stop loving you. I have to. But I'm in no rush to. The web of feeling I have for you has slowly dwindled over the weeks and months without you. But you see, this last part, this, this last part, requires a slow, steady blade along the rim. And if I move too fast, I run the risk of drip, drip, drip. Are you listening to me? Yes. yes. Do you understand now? No. Yes. Oh, I hear more yeses, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening. Yeah.